thank you for this day that you have given us to be together. We thank you for letting us be able to prepare this food so we can nourishing our bodies. We thank you for all your goodness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. In the USA, hunting most animals requires a permit, special seasons, and specified methods of hunting. Oh, I haven't shot a deer rifle before. But in Alabama and the greater south, there's one species so destructive that it can be hunted just about anywhere, anytime, anyhow. There's nothing that they don't eat. They eat their own. Jeez, really? I'm talking about invasive wild hogs. Each year, these hogs disrupt the natural ecosystem and create massive amounts of damage for local farmers. So in about 96, 97, them hogs went to being pretty bad. They destroyed two acres of peanut in one night. Today, I'm deep in Alabama's countryside. When you usually bring people out to do this, do they get all freaked out and shaky? Taking on the invasive hogs. There's two right there. And earning my dinner, too. Shoot the back one, shoot the back one. So is wild hog the next great dining trend? To find out, I have to hunt one first. I am with Dylan of Shady Grove Outfitters. We are in the middle of nowhere in Alabama. That's it. Meet Dylan and Dewey, the founders of Shady Grove Outfitters, a company that takes city folk like me on first time hunting excursions. Deer, turkey, or like today, hog hunting. So there's no natural predator for these hogs. No. Except for the most brutal predator of all, man. Can we do a little zoom in? Man, man. We get it that time? Four-legged, eating, breeding, rooting machines. Our hunt will begin at dawn tomorrow. For now, I plan on getting some much-needed practice. The method of hunting is what? The most productive way to kill them is by shooting them. Oh! Put the safety back on, put gun down, feel exhilaration of adrenaline coursing through my body. That's pretty sweet, bro. 75 to 100 yards, about as close as we'll get to our target tomorrow. This makes the deer rifle an ideal choice. Only problem is that I've never shot a deer rifle until today. But so far, so good. That was the first one though. Now I got the jitters out, can I do another one? Yeah. Oh fuck, that's exhilarating. Here we go, I set up my tripod. I slow my breathing, I relax. I put the butt of the gun firmly against my shoulder. I look through my scope, which has a zoom feature. I zoom in, I see my shot, I switch off to safety, and I slowly squeeze the trigger. Ah! Oh no! Dude. Let my misfortune be a lesson to future marksmen. The distance between your eye and the scope is called eye relief. And there should be a good few inches of eye relief because one, the scope is designed to give you a full clear view when you're a few inches away. And two, the recoil of the gun can drive the scope back into your forehead. Dude, I got jacked up. It feels pretty fucking deep. This is unfortunate. Can you check if I hit anything? What's that? Did I hit it? Yes, I got it. Turns out my aim is pretty darn good. All it cost was a scar on my forehead that I'll carry with me for life. Can you feel it? Just like, I know that you're dragging thread through my skin. And you can feel like, a little bit of pressure. I don't, I don't like, feel pain though. Just a weird feeling? Yeah. Five stitches, a painful but effective lesson. Giving up is sounding pretty darn good right now. I got only two shots of target practice with a gun that I've never used before. My head is busted and I've got next to no confidence in what I'm doing. 
but I didn't come to the middle of Alabama and scar my face for life just to stop now. I still got work to do. All right, man, it is the next day. First of all, look at this, five stitches. Does it look nice? It's a war wound. Yeah. Don't tell anybody how I got that. Every scar has a story. That's right. So right now we're headed to where they are baited. Well, it's very early morning, 5.30 a.m. They just woke up. They slept all night, and they're getting breakfast right now. A lot of times they feed early in the morning, and then they go and sleep all day when it's hot. Sounds like me. So here's the thing. We can't just be driving around all morning taking shots. Like basically I've got one shot. If I don't get it, all the pigs are gonna hear a gunshot and they're gonna get the heck out of wherever they are. I know what you're thinking. Oh, well he must have got it because he put the episode on YouTube. I'm happy to put a half a video out, all right? We've been searching for about five minutes, but there's nothing in sight. These suckers are really hard to see. They kind of got black, gray, grizzly fur. The long bladed grass right here, the hogs rooted up, and that's a lot of the problem with them getting in the crops. Our first loop, nothing. Once the sun gets too high, those hogs will disappear until nighttime. Dylan still has one last loop left to check. All right, here we go, round two. At this point, my mind is focused. My objective is clear, but my body doesn't care. My heart is beating so hard that the barrel of the gun is moving erratically. Instead of risking it, I decide to move in closer. Okay, my heart's beating out of my chest. Talk to you dad, how am I feeling? Oh, I try not to. The wind is in my favor. The hogs are clearly visible and somehow not seeing four tall men walking their way. The only remaining obstacle is myself. You hit it. I got it. Shoot the back one, shoot the back one. Shoot it? The other pig? Yeah, shoot the back one. Oh. Hold on. There's one bullet left. Just take your time and breathe. Oh, God. Smoke, man. Oh, man. Oh, shit. You did good. That one over there quit kicking, and that one dropped like a box of rocks. Clean kill. You think this is a mother? Because it's pretty small, right? This one's not that old? No, there's probably a year old at the most, and that one's from the size of it, I want to say probably six months. Oh. See, that's where you hit it the second time. Oh, so I did hit him the first time. Yeah. The second one was in the neck, though, right? He never knew what hit him. Oh, man. All right. Well, what a morning. I am up. Red Bull cannot do what that just did to me. Oh, I no. feel like all kinds of adrenaline. Congratulations. I can be good, I can be good, but no, I got a Red Bull soul. Hey, I've got a Red Bull soul. I've got a Red Bull soul. The hardest part is done. Now, the second hardest part, turning this into delicious food. 
luckily, we've enlisted the help of Bino. Yeah, I heard you practice yesterday, busted your face open a little bit, trying to get a beauty mark. Yeah, I was trying to get scars to look more tough, get more credibility. Uh. Locally legendary Pitmaster and Hogmaster. The hogs we shot were on Bino's land. These days, he stays close to home, but still knows how to cook up an Alabama feast. Are hogs good eaten? That is the main question everyone wants to know. i tell you what, if you can eat hog from the rooter to the pooter. Uh-huh, from the nose to the butt. We're gonna put that cream cheese and jalapenos, we're gonna stuff them, take that bacon and wrap around it, and then we're gonna smoke it right over on that grill. Joining our main course, deer meat, baked beans, and gizzards and rice. Time to work. Did you forget the password? You know what password is? <laughs> no. Be prepared. <laughs> that was menacing. Bino starts with his own unique creation, deer meat baked beans. Ground up sauteed deer meat with salt and pepper. When you're cooking your fresh meat like this, yeah. it's best to do that. You got to salt it and pepper it, then you don't have to add in our baked beans. Oh, nice. He adds the deer meat to the baked beans. Then Bino's secret barbecue sauce and not so secret Worcestershire and brown sugar. Add strips of bacon on top and pop it in the oven. Now back to the hog. When it comes to butchering, this is where Dylan really shines. When people say meat tastes gamey, that's the smell they're talking about. You no, know, it has that must smell. Yeah. That's because it's a boar. So it's yeah. even more gamey. Yeah, because the testosterone is in the blood. Oh, man. Is that flavor going to go into the meat? It'll have a little bit of that, but it's not going to be too overbearing. Like my stepdad. The young boar is lean, not much fat or usable meat, but the front quarters, hind quarters, and tenderloins are good to go. Now, what part are we going to be eating today? Uh, backstrap, which would be pork tenderloins. All that is backstrap? Yeah. I mean, considering, like, this is a really lean animal, but this is a pretty good amount of meat we're getting off here. Oh, I'm hungry. Can I have some? Oh, there he goes. She wants to be alone with it. Enjoy it. <laughs> The ham hocks get sectioned up and boiled in a stock that'll soon become our rice. Paired with butter, rice, chicken neck, and gizzard, all simmering together and overlapping flavors that'll get soaked up by the rice. Next, the tenderloin gets its own special treatment. I've never felt more like a man right now, like a provider. Literally, I took down this hog this morning and now we're making it into food. That's right. And what are we making? It's what we call roll up. I'm gonna go ahead and butterfly. So we've kind of like reduced the surface area so it's all a little more thin, it'll cook a little more easily, right? Yes. Then we're going to put the cream cheese in it, jalapenos, and fold it back over. Then we're going to take the bacon and wrap it towards the end because it puts more oil and grease back in to the meat. Dylan rolls up enough of these to feed an army, then sets them to smoke for two hours. In the meantime, I don't think it would hurt to sample Bino's baked beans. So here, the bacon on top is kind of browned. Shut up. That looks ridiculous. Are you straining it out? I want all the grease in there. You ready? Let's go for it. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I feel it in my heart. It's got that little, little bit gamey, not gamey, but like a little wild taste to it. Man, that is good. A little sweet, a little salty, brown sugar, bacon. It's all there. Oh, it's, you can't even talk. It's so I got, good. I got brown sugar, but. You got just brown sugar yeah. in your bite? <laughs> okay. Eh, that's good too. This is unreal. We got everything here. What I like is you put kind of all of Alabama on a plate as far as I'm concerned because we've got the beans with deer meat inside. Did you put chicken necks in the rice? Yeah. It's great. And then of course the hog stuffed wrapped, freshly shot today. Incredible. That's the blessings that we get from God. Oh my gosh. Here we go, putting some sauce on the rice. What you got right here is a plate of Dixie. Plate of Dicks? Dixie. Dixie, okay, I thought for sure you said a plate of Dicks, and I wanted <laughs> you to explain, but now I got it. That's Bino's best barbecue sauce right here. Oh, this is yours? Yeah, he made. I made that from scratch. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this out. Mm. 
Oh, that's great. Is there a tomato oh. in there? Yeah, it's got ketchup in it. Yeah, that's right. It tastes like spicy SpaghettiOs. Yeah. This is ridiculous, no joke. The hops, it's super tender. Like that was boiling for about two hours in there before the rice even went in. Your mom will get you a piece of that lightning bread. And... <laughs> I gotta try some of the lightning bread. Lightning bread, it turns out, just white bread. Mm -hmm. I'll get a little bit of rice, a little bit of bean. Look at that, and you think I'm done? But I'm not. I'm putting bacon in there. <laughs> I feel like... Man, you're gonna have enough piece of that lightning bread to cover that for me. No, watch this, boom. Oh, I feel like I'm fitting in pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, right. Good. Oh, I mean, that white bread, there's nothing to it. It's just like gets super thin around whatever you put in there. It gets almost kind of sticky. You guys ever describe the food while you're eating it like I do? Oh, you don't do that? <laughs> I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> right here, this is the main event. The backstraps from the hog shot today. So let's take a look inside. Oh, there it is. Still some of that cream cheese inside, a jalapeno, tenderloin here, wrapped in bacon. I'm gonna just cut it up again, take a nice big bite of that. Ooh, it's a big moment for me. I mean, I guess I had the ham hocks already, but this is what today was all about. The hunt and the reward, the meat. Let's go for it. Mmm, I like it. The back strap's still a little bit tough. I think just because it doesn't have like almost any fat in there. But when you put it all together, the bacon, the cream cheese, the jalapenos, the taste is awesome. Me and that brother of mine, we grew up on wild game. Mm -hmm. There's so many flavors in here. Like I was saying, you can taste it, but it's not overbearing. Yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite here, the okay. rice. Because the pork on the rice is just like super tender. Yeah. Great seasoning. I love it. I got to say, Alabama was hard on me, man. He agrees. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little something here to remember y'all buying. A little war wound, but I think it was worth it. It was a real trial. Like, I could have backed up, I could have freaked out, walked away. But in the end, with your guidance, we did the hog hunt, we got the hog, and finally, it all led to this. Hanging out with you guys and eating some good ass food. Cheers to that. Amen. And cheers also. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Thank you guys. From researching and shooting to editing and mastering, our 10-person best ever food review show team works hard to roll out the highest quality travel food entertainment twice a week. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a monthly sum and receive a load of extras like early video releases, private Q&As, and beyond. To learn more about our Patreon, check out the link in the description box down below. And if you can't give or don't even feel like it, that's okay too. <laughs> We're just happy you're here. Huge thank you to Shady Grove Outfitters for the successful hunt today. And to my man, Bino. Amazing food, wonderful menu. And for you guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. A, A peace. peace. Oh, and the hog call. Do the hog call. Oh, oh. I don't see any hogs. <laughs> they coming. <laughs> they coming. This is why we live